Oh, bitch, we gotta go. Dark Stars School of Thought is now in session. Cutie motherfucker, but baby, he talk trash. What? Might show you ass, but baby, he got class. Okay. Trying to teach you something, them skills you don't have. Ooh. Keep on watching, let's get into the bag. Yeah. Don't crap, son. Come on, crap, son. What's on, crap, son? You heard me right. Cause crap, uh-huh. it's just full of bad bitches. Hey, welcome back to another episode with Brockstar at the School of Thought inside the workshop, 605 South Los Angeles Street. I'm your headmaster crafter, Brockstar, and today we're going to be doing another holiday tutorial. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love a good Christmas tree, especially when it's well decorated. So, I have been really inspired by a good friend of mine. His grandmother makes these sequin pin ornaments. So I'm going to call them uh, Granny Vaden's ornaments. And so basically they're just sequins individually put one by one and then closed with a pin. They're really fun to make. They take a very long time, but they turn out so beautiful. Here's one in progress that I have started and you'll kind of see in the video how to get it started. Okay, to start this, you're gonna need a styrofoam ball or any kind of shape, really, some crystals, if you want. Then you're gonna need sequins. I like to get a couple different sizes so that you can add depth and layers. And then these really cheap push pins. You also need your hot glue gun to get it started. So first, you'll start thinking about your design and laying out the crystal elements first. Feel free to lay your crystals out however you want, but just be mindful about how all of these things are going to intersect when the sequins are put on and the overall design and aesthetic. It's also important to think about where you're going to place your string to hang the ornament after. I went pretty random with mine, but you can kind of do whatever you want. All the crystals are on and we're ready for our next step so now basically you're just gonna uh, use each crystal as a base to circle around to then be able to add the design with the sequins it's really exciting Crap, 
just full of bad bitches. So you take a sequin and a pin, and you're going to want to angle it on the crystal, and then apply the pin in the sequin hole. I like to leave my pin, at least when I start, out just a little bit, because if you push it in, it'll go through the sequin, and it'll just uh, disappear into the foam. So leave a little bit of a tail on each of the pin lengths. That way, when you start to build it up, your tension between each sequin will hold each other in place. It's kind of a tricky thing to do with your hands, and it feels like it's going to fall off. But I've made about, I've made a couple, and by now I've gotten a rhythm of it. But if you want to use a bit of glue, I would maybe not use hot glue. If I did, I'd put it on a low temp setting, and then just put a little dab of glue there, and then apply the pen. But make sure you do it quickly, or else it's going to be hard to stick that pen through the hot glue. These are pretty intimidating to get started, but once you get going, you'll really find that you can enjoy it at a pretty quick pace, and it's something great to do with your family. Everybody can do it. Kids could do it. You could watch TV and do it. So now that that row's all finished, I kind of squish them around and get them in a comfortable place. And then I alternate the color. And um, I place them in between the spots where the two overlap. So almost like I'm closing them in on top of each other. So now you're pretty much done with the beginning of this. So your next step will be circling around all the rest of the crystals and then uh, filling in the trails that will be left behind. Um, you can kind of see in my in progress one what I mean by when I say trails. And uh, all you have to do at that point is just... Um, place a sequin into the flat parts of the exposed foam and it'll fill up a lot faster. I feel like going around the crystals makes it pretty difficult to start off with but I think they definitely add something to the whole thing and I think they make great gifts. Well I guess that's it. Uh, the video kind of explains it all. Pretty much all you're going to do after that part is just 
keep plucking them in and then you're done until it's finished and filled in and gorge like these beautiful sequin ornaments. Oh, I love them. Come on, craft side. What's on craft side? You heard me right. Cause crafting, uh -huh. it's just full of bad bitches.